What if you could perfectly train spiders? Ben, what do you have? So I also kind of did not initially have a, a like strong idea that jumped out at me. So I also just started looking at random ass spiders. <laughs> Look, we have a process yeah, here. It's called once looking again, at spiders. This is, by the way, to the listeners, um, this is a pretty common uh, way that a lot of these questions kind of go is we just look up random facts until one jumps out at us. So there's, you know, part in the curtain a little bit. Yeah, Ben, just pull it all the way back. No, sorry, we always have fully formed ideas even before we come up with the questions. Um Yeah, so uh uh I I eventually settled on uh making a spider circus. So in order to make a circus, the sort of the important things that you need for a circus. One, you obviously need a tent. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't come up with a particular spider to make the tent. Um they all make web like it's just fucking spider web is the just tent use, i don't know just use web <laughs> yeah you just use web like that's kind of it guys pretty straightforward i guess I, I will say the that 80 foot spider web is probably pr- a pretty decent base for it and we'll just go from there but then obviously the most important part of any circus is of course your performers um so first off i'm thinking sort of like like cirque de soleil style you're gonna have some like interesting costume situations so i got a couple couple spiders for this uh, my answer, by the way, is going to involve a lot of me trying to pronounce scientific names of things, which is always fun. I learned to just avoid those. <laughs> I'm going to lean into it. I had not practiced any of these, which is a very important point to make before I, I um, embarrass myself doing this. So for our sort of interesting costume spiders, I got a couple here. So one of them is the uh, Sertorachna inequalis, inequalis uh, colloquially known as the disco spider. Which is a, a spider. It's one of those ones that's kind of like an orby thing on its back. Um, and that one is kind of a, it's kind of like a, a yellowish brownish. Um, there's some scientists who think that it's supposed to look like like bird poop, actually, as a disguise. Do you pick that one as your costume? <laughs> well, but but its, it's abdomen is semi-translucent and pulses throughout it. Whoa. Um, and scientists don't actually know, one, why it does it. It might be like... Some some of them think it might be like a warning, but that kind of goes against the disguise thing. So who knows? Um, it might be caused by literally like its organs moving is kind of what they think, but they really have no idea. But it just has this like sort of swirling, pulsing like movement that you can see inside of it. I always get scared when scientists don't know something. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we can't trust them for anything. Yeah, what are you going to do? I also get scared when I Google things like Disco Spider. And fine, there's a bunch of pictures of this cool Disco Spider you're, you're describing. Mm-hmm. But also, uh, in the third row of images, there is a uh, picture of a disco ball on the floor that's going on. And a bunch of spiders swarming it. Nope. <laughs> Don't want that. <laughs> they Disco died. All right. Um, my other other costume spider is a, a genus of spiders called um, Murmurachna. Uh, which is basically spiders that disguise themselves as ants. So they have like elongated ant-like heads and like, you know, like the hourglass thorax, like like an ant would. Um, and they actually hold, so they have eight legs still, but their front legs are short and sort of in front of their, their jaws and they hold them up and wiggle them like an like a antenna. So they'll actually try to like sneak into like ant colonies by doing this. Spiders are sneaky. Spiders are very sneaky and still terrifying at all times. I will say these these spiders are actually they're they're pretty smart. They will if they see something that preys on ants, they will just immediately be like, "Nope, I'm a I'm a spider, <laughs> not an ant, <laughs> not actually an ant." Legs go down. Not with these guys. Not I'm an not ant. One of them. I I was just passing through. <laughs> um, so there's my sort of like costume spiders for the, the circus. We obviously, if you're gonna have a circus, you need clowns. Um, clowns are tricky for many reasons. So I can't really judge the humor of spiders because they're terrifying. <laughs> well, Ben, first you have to judge the humor of a clown, which is also terrifying. terrifying. So, so really, this, really, they're on base. Yeah, this is working pretty well, honestly. Um, but one of the important things about clowns with regards to like, circuses, there's always in groups. So uh, there, there are, for the most part, spiders are, are relatively solitary. But um, there are some species that live in colonies. And one in particular, um, Theridian... Nigran Nigranolatum there. <laughs> that one has a lot of N's and A's and U's and stuff. Real fun. Uh, they live in colonies from a few dozen to a few thousand. And actually do some pretty complicated tasks together. So like the way they hunt, they will they live in like like um like the rainforest and they'll hang 
webbing from the bottom of leaves and then hide beneath those leaves. And when something flies into the strands, they like all jump up together and swarm it and then like put more web on it and bite it until it dies and then like carry oh, it back no. together. So they can do complex tasks. So you can get them to like get in a tiny car or something and, you know, just tumble out together. I don't know. Whatever. Tiny box car. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever clowns do. I don't know. This is like that Planet Earth shit where they're like, oh, by the way, snakes. Yeah, they hunt in packs now, too, in some places. Right, yeah. Like, it's just not one snake. It's like a million snakes that immediately just simultaneously come out of, the, like, the rocks. Exactly, And yeah. attack. And just, you know, destroy all safety you have around, you know, rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of Earth to live on. I can't yep. go in the air. I can't go in the water. I can't go in the rocks. One of our other, so another, you know, tagline for our show is just be afraid of most things. <laughs> And finally, you definitely need, in a circus, you definitely need acrobats. That's, you know, a very important part of a circus. Um, so so first off, we have um, sort of the spider that made me want to go down this path of a circus. There is um, Sabrinus Reckenbergi. <laughs> Reckenbergi? <laughs> Reckenbergi? Uh, which has the nickname, and I don't know why this is the nickname, the Flick Flack Spider. Uh, that basically it lives in the desert and when it's in danger, it somersaults away. It basically, so I'm not going to say cartwheels because that implies that it's like, you know, you take a spider and tilt it 90 degrees. So it's like rolling like a wheel. It's not doing that. It's actually like flipping forwards and like springing off with his front legs and doing like front flips and tumbling that way. Um, That's pretty awesome. It it actually looks really hilarious and also kind of <laughs> fake as hell like it looks like in like a a if you had a really bad like cg or like proto cg like tumbleweed in an old movie you know it does not look real um but then you find out that these spiders can actually do this at about 6.6 .6 feet per second and then it becomes terrifying how much is 6 point feet 6.6 .6 feet per second in miles an hour well i don't know but marcus think about how far about six feet is and i'll think about moving that in a second <laughs> Feet per second to miles per hour. I was doing the same thing. I was Googling it. Five. Five miles an hour. So a little bit more than a brisk walk, but way faster than I want my spiders to go. Right. Particularly, here's the thing, too, is that if I have a spider approach me at that rate, one, I don't want that. But if I were going to, I would rather have it be, like, walking on its legs towards me that way, because that way, I feel like it's in control. This is definitely not <laughs> in control. <laughs> I don't want an out of control <laughs> spider careening towards me. Yeah, this spider's having a bad day, and I want no fucking part of exactly. it. Exactly. So, so we got that. Those, you know, doing our like tumbling stuff. Then, of course, as as I think Chris brought up, you got jumping spiders. That was Chris, right? You brought up jumping spiders. Yep. So yeah, jumping spiders. They jump. That one's kind of the you know the, the name there. Um, they can jump up to fifty times their body length. Some of them, which is pretty impressive. Um, I saw one kind. Uh, called Bagheera Kiplini, which is named after the Jungle Book, Jungle, Jungle Book character. Jesus, can't talk. Um, which I don't, I only bring up really because kind of cool fact. It's one of the few like almost entirely vegetarian spiders. What? Um, it basically eats like nectar. There's like a nectar that like um, some other bug like harvests and it will basically jump down to the trees where they like store it and grab some and then jump away. And that's like predominantly what it eats. Which is kind of cool. So there are spiders that do not, you know, eat things. Well, they eat something, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then finally, in addition to your flying spiders, there are actually also gliding spiders. I think you could do some like, you know, feats with, <laughs> I don't know. But I have a question for about your circus. Yes. How big do you imagine it is? Uh, it's quite small. I think you're actually going to film it and then put it like projected or something. I, I thought about that. <laughs> like what if you just put like little stages like all over, like little columns, like little concrete columns with like little stages in them. And then people walk around and check out different acts. That works. That works too. Or you just have like a GoPro and then it, that it was like kind sends of, it to a big screen. Yeah. That was kind of my my I, original idea was you have a very, a very small stage um, in like the center of a large arena because that's just a hil hilarious mental image. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, you have it like projected up what's actually happening on this tiny stage. Um, but yeah, so there are these gliding spiders that, um, they, they, oh, it's the, the genus Selenops. Uh, they live in the tree canopies in like Panama and Peru. And they actually do controlled glides back to tree trunk when they fall out. Um, and scientists discovered this because they did a study 
where they drop 59 spiders and 93% of them successfully glide back to the tree. And I really don't want to do that experiment. What? Yeah, why? Why did they do that experiment? I also don't know why it was 59 spiders. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a kind of arbitrary number um, that worries me a little bit. But whatever. I don't think you get to choose how many spiders you've caught. You know, I think you just... I guess that's true. You just catch a bunch of spiders and go for it. So, so I figure you have some like, you know, high wire spiders. This is either, either their act is, you know, gliding into a tiny glass of water or whatever, or they like are your, tra- you know, tight wire or tight rope walkers. And if they fall, they just like glide to the post and like, hey, we're fine or whatever. I don't know. But you can do something with it. They can glide. That's cool. They're apparently good at it. There's something there. Um, that's kind of it. <laughs> like we said, yeah, I don't know the exact logistics of the circus. I kind of like your pillars with tiny axe on them idea, but, um, I also do like the idea of just, yeah, you have a little camera point out them in. It's kind of adorable. So yeah, that's kind of my, uh, spider circus plan. And I would never go visit awesome. this activity because like, that's terrifying. So. Well, you have to train them. Yeah, I'll do that from a distance. I'll, do I'll train the spiders from a distance. <laughs> yeah. You'll just yell from across the room. Yeah. <laughs> you know, tumble th- that way. Yeah, no, no, not, no, not towards me. Not towards no. me. Nope, never that way. <laughs> <laughs>